I am the first to have MSc Mathematics of the University of Lagos. Have you gone through Pastor E.A. Adeboe's educational qualifications before? I was in awe when I did. Listen to this. Forgive me, I, 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 I'm not used to boasting. I don't want to boast. But I just want to tell you there's somebody standing before you now that is unique. Just wait. I'm going to prove it to you now. I am the first to have MSc Mathematics of the University of Lagos. I am the first to have PhD Mathematics of the University of Lagos. I am the first to have three postgraduate degrees of the University of Lagos. I work for two, they dash me the third one. If you think that is boasting, now you sabi. The thing I'm saying is that God can make you stand on your feet and cry unto him and say, Father, make me uniquely good, uniquely great. Go ahead, talk to the almighty God. He can make you great, uniquely. He can make you uniquely outstanding. He can do so. He can do so. Now, this is very inspiring. I also read through a few biographies of some fathers of faith like Pastor Kumui, Dr. Lukoya, Pastor Enenche, and etc. And one thing among them was that they were very well educated, even to the highest level. It is only in our generation that a young man with a passion to become a pastor feels like school is a hindrance to that call. Dear child of God, please, let's get education. Get an education. It is a fallacy to think that talent or passion should dismiss education. School is not a scam and will never be. Education is not an enemy to the anointing. You must not sound unlettered or settle for mediocrity because God called you. Worse of it, it is how we talk down on education to our members to the extent that some of them feel happy to fail. Some of them feel happy to fail or miss their exams just to attend church services. Such sermon must stop. Let's preach heaven is the goal and also preach the earth has he given to the sons of men. Apostle Salman would always say, if you must succeed on this earth, you don't just need God alone. You also need the resources of men on earth, which God has provided, which is education in this subject. It is all I have for us today. Please subscribe. God bless you.